Okay, I'm going to show this to you in two different sections, mainly because it's kind of hard to uh, describe the differences between the, the stifler loop or the diode ring, however you want to refer to it. Here's my scope probes. My grounds are connected to the ground of the generator. I have the two probes across the Cree board for differential. I have the coil going in at the top of the ring. In other words, it divides the number of diodes from both sides. And the lead from the generator going into the coil that's feeding the ring. Let me go ahead and bring it into resonance, which is right there. Now, as far as voltage goes, what's going on here is here we see channel A, which is the yellow one, channel B is the blue. The purple happens to be the subtraction of channel 2 from channel A. You can see that there's very little voltage there. On channel A, I don't know if you can see it or not, but on channel A, we have uh, 4.72 or 4.8 volts peak to peak across that Cree board. So we're running this board at about 5 volts. Now I think that's that should be able to speak for itself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and stop this video and add another one to it, which shows a simpler way to implement the Stifler loop that does about the same thing, if not maybe a little more. Okay, this is the second impl implementation, and I'm using a loop and a half. And you can see that it's considerably brighter There's probably the peak right there. And here again we have the output of the generator hooked to the input of the coil. The coil's going into the one and a half loop, if you want to call it that, because it's a stifler loop, but it's one complete one here and a half of one here. The scope probe is again A and B across the Cree board for differential. I do have both scope probes connected to the ground of the generator. And so basically that's it. This one puts out more light than the full ring. Uh, also, one of the reasons is that you've got to be extremely careful that your SRF for your coil uh, is in a range that you're actually going to drive it. So if your coil has an SRF of 9 megahertz, you're going to have to drive it somewhere around 9 megahertz. So you're going to have to know. Now this one's running at 13.6. Uh, that's the one that I favor mostly. The inductance uh, is not as relevant as the SRF, but you can get a difference in induct inductance and the same SRF by using a different wiring strategy or different wire size. So you've got to be extremely careful and use your scope to measure the SRF with your frequency generator. And then you should get this right on the money.